Good evening, guys. Welcome to another episode of Randy's Rants. It's uh, May 25th. It's 826. I don't know if you want to call it night or day or evening or pre-evening. You know, I don't know. That's your guys' uh, prerogative. But uh, just a quick little rant I would like to fucking uh, say that I was thinking about today. I'm kind of busting this one out before work. So one thing uh, that I believe that, that I think everybody should know is that sometimes, man, you got to learn how to make your life easier at work at certain areas we'll say we'll say mostly at work you know because sometimes work, work can be stressful work can be this and all that and sometimes you're carrying that stress home and you shouldn't really need to carry that that home at all that should stay at work no matter what just always stay at work but also know that you know try to be happy at what you do but know you know depending what, what you're doing know what your end goal is you always have to have a dream and a goal and that way it makes your life day-to-day easier because that's what you're working for so let's say you're doing uh, janitorial work or you're doing, uh, you know, a cashier or cook or waitress, you know, and let's say you're going to school for, I don't know, an RN or a doctor, dentist, lawyer, whatever. Whatever happens at work, don't try to make things at work easier for you. And what I mean by that is don't try to be the favorite and all that. No, just fucking go with how it goes, but learn Learn how to be cool with everybody, even if in reality you don't like them. But learn how to be cool because you don't want to start any trouble where you're at. You don't want to cause problems where you're at because then it's going to make every other day fucking worse. You know, I'd rather say try to be cool with everyone. You know, if you, you know, if that means brown nosing sometimes, then you know what? Go ahead. Make make your life easier there. Don't try to make your, your life difficult at work. Because in the end, well, why are you going to let whatever happens there stress you out or get you in, uh, get you down or certain aspects when in reality your goal is you're, you're still not where your goal is. You're not where your dream, what your dream goal, dream job, whatever it is, you're not there. You know, you're only using this to help you get there. So this, th- th- whatever happens there, it shouldn't stress you out. You should be like, you know what? It's done. Whatever's done is done. But also learn how to adapt to people at work. If you know you can't trust somebody, maybe just Try to talk the minimal to them to see how their day is going. Say hi. How was your weekend? Whatever it is. If they need something, you know, ask if they want some coffee. If you go get coffee, don't, you know, don't try to create certain problems, even though some people create those problems, the people you're trying to get away to. But still don't let it get to you because in the end, that shit don't matter. They're not going where you're going. You know where you're going. You know what your goal is. That should be your number one. The moment you start to to put more attention to stress or whatever's going on at work, your 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 um your focus is drifting away from what's really really at hand because you'll learn that your what really at hand is your goal. So that should be on your mind twenty four seven. Trying to make things easier here, so it can help you get to 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 your to your goal. You know, because let's say if. Your goal is to be a music producer, whatever it is. Uh, you you have to go to school. All right, just do what you got to do, but know what's your angle. Unless you want to be a music producer or something like that, so you got to buy equipment. All right, whatever the job you're working, make sure you make you 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 you, you handle business there, but also you try to make your life easier there, because you you need that to get to where you want. I mean, you don't need it, but you want it because it's going to help you get to where you want to be quicker. You don't want to struggle to get there. You don't want to, you know, have to quit that job, lose or uh, get fired or any of that. Because next, you know, if your goal is to buy two thousand, three thousand dollars worth of equipment. But now you lost your you quit or um, they fired you because of some bullshit or something like that. That literally puts you three thousand dollars behind. Why? Because you don't got the funds. You don't have the, the the funds coming in to get you to that. So now that that goal, your dream is delayed until you find another another job, until you find some way to get other other income going. And that's my way of thinking where in reality, like I work the, the work I do 80 hours a week. Sometimes I pick up overtime here at the, at the first job, then second job and just work, work, work. Yeah. But at the end, I know my angle and whatever happens out, I don't try to let that bug me. I try to keep everything separate because my angle is. Put it towards my goals, towards my dreams. Going to school, uh, uh, kind of want to start a few businesses or get some of the some ideas that I have in my mind going. But also in the end, like I'm gonna put it to you this way: because of, because of the hours I've worked and and all the jobs I've done, it helped me get to where I am right now. Where oh god, I gotta sneeze. Hold on. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I don't got Rona, guys. It's just a regular sneeze. I think I smelled some pepper or stuff like that. You know? So, I got the Rona, guys. So, don't, don't think I got the Rona just because of that stupid sneeze, right? Don't be so fucking cold and crew hearted or whatever you want to say. But uh, going back to what I was saying, yeah, it makes it easier. Because I'm going to tell you this. If I wasn't doing all that, I wouldn't have uh, had the credit or even uh, the funds to even start put together this podcast I've been wanting to do and get my uh, this little office thing going that I have here. Now I'm hoping a little by little transform because I'm going to be honest, I don't want to do all the work on once. I kind of want to like it a little bit because I don't want to fix it. Then next, you know, something else, you know, so I'm just going to fix up the room little by little. The next thing I want to do is uh, I'll probably get a table, but going back to what I was saying. Yeah, if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't have the laptop. I wouldn't have had, I wouldn't have bought the this uh, podcast starter kit, which was actually good. And I fucking love this microphone and the headphones it comes with. You know, it was a pretty good deal, but I wouldn't be there if I didn't keep my goal and my dreams in hand. If I didn't, if I didn't have that, I probably wouldn't be here speaking about this. Why? Right? If I would have fucking quit each, if I would have quit both jobs because, oh, it was getting too hard. Or, you know what? It's starting to be stressful. It's starting to be this. Or some people there are fucking rats. Some people there are fucking snakes. It don't fucking matter. Why? Right? Because I learned how to make my diet, my, my day easier. Each day at work, I know how to be cool with everybody. I know how to, if I have the brown nose over here, but it's just to make my life easier there. Why Why go against the grain when it can cause you problems, when you can just take it as it comes, even if you got to do more work than the person right next to you because they're the, they're the favorite? Go with it. Because in the end, that's for your dream, goal and your dream. So if that's for your goal and your dream, then whatever comes your way, just keep pushing because then... One day you're going to look back, be like, man, I fucking did it. You know, I was able to push through that shit. I was able to do this. I was able to do that and get here where I need to be at this exact same moment. Rather than this exact same moment, five years later, rather than now, you know. So that's that's my take on it. Because as for me, you know, I've been to a food place, a uh, few jobs where, you know, sometimes it can be a stressful environment. You're fucking, it could be your boss is an asshole or really has it out for you. But you know what? As long as you always do you, you work, you do your job to the T, you know, the minimal of errors, you're, you're, you'll be good. You'll be good. Sure, they might give you more work. They might try to do this, but that shit don't matter. Why? Because your goals and your dreams don't matter. This is only temporary because I know this is temporary. Because those jobs I work are temporary, I know I'm not gonna be there forever. I can I can handle what comes my way. I can fucking do what I need to do. You know, I can put up with people's bullshit. Cause in the end, I'm fucking here and I know where the fuck I'm going. Some of you I feel live too much in the, at that job where it's getting you when you should be like, no, fuck this shit. Yeah, I'm working here. It's helping me pay my bills for now to this, for this. And also when I go to school, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm still going to work here. Sure, it's going to be help. But you know what? It's 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 good to help you get your bills paid. It's good to help you to buy your family stuff. Or maybe if some of you got kids to to feed your kids, to close your kids. It's good for that. But don't forget your fucking goal and your dream, what it really is. Use that job as a stepping stone. Then when you're ready to move on, fucking cut that fucking bitch off and fucking be like, fuck, I'm fucking out of here. You don't have to do that. You don't have to be there anymore. Why? Because you follow your dreams. You're doing what you want. All right. But again, sometimes you got to you got to be in that fire for a while. You got to be a stay in the fire, stay in the heat, stay in the grind. Even if it fucking sucks, don't get me wrong, man. I've been, I've worked at a few places that fucking really suck, but it was all for a reason. It was all for a reason. And would I go back and change it and just quit right away, do this? I'm going to be honest, not really. Because all those decisions led me to this very exact same moment. Yeah, if I go back, I can probably change a few things. I probably wouldn't be here, maybe in a better spot. But again, that's the unknown. I don't know. That could be true. I could have been off in a better position if I would have done stuff. But in the end, what's the point of keep of uh, thinking too much of the unknown? I mean, it's the unknown for a reason. I don't know about it. That's why it's the unknown. So, in those in those terms, in that aspect, I'm like it. It it's fine. I fucking do. <laughs> I I wouldn't change that shit for nothing. Why? 
It's just how it is. You gotta you gotta learn with it. You can't you can't fucking um think about the past too much or think about the future too much, you know, because then it it can it can cause you know some sort of uh circuit breakers or some shit in your brain, you know. Anxiety. I feel anxiety is when you try to live too much in the future and you try to control everything. One, you should just let it be, let let time handle it, let let it come to you, let it flow naturally. Same as depression. Depression usually happens when when what? When you think of the past, when you think of something in the past, in the past. So you think too much of the past, you can it, it can take you down a uh, you know depressive state. You don't want to be. You don't want to go. You don't want to get depressed. You don't want none of that. Why? Right? So try to learn more in the in the now. Try to like just keep your mentality here. But again, at the same time, don't, don't forget to always plan for the future. Don't forget to look at your future. What's ahead of you? You know, yeah, we don't know what the future holds. And, you know, I may not be here tomorrow, you know, but I know I'm going to be here tomorrow. I know I am. I got something to, I got something to, to accomplish here. I know I'm going to be here tomorrow. You know, I rather have the belief I'm going to be here tomorrow than the belief I'm not going to be here tomorrow. Why? Just because I don't feel like. You know, though it's true, we don't know, but I feel saying that I may not be here tomorrow. That's, I feel like it's also calling some sort of negativity that's calling for death. I'm not looking for it. Fuck no. I'm going to be here tomorrow. I'm going to be here the day after. I'm going to be here the week after. I'm going to be here the month after, the year, 10 years after. I'm going to be here 70 years after. I believe in my heart because also I take care of myself. I take care of my body. I try to do as much as I can to make sure my body's right. And in turn, it repays me. It repays me with health. It repays me with, with, um, with life, you know, but again, I'm still not I, I, just because, you know, I also think about the unknown that you know, there is a possibility I may not be here tomorrow, but just because that's going to happen doesn't mean I'm not going to plan for the future. I'd rather plan for the future and know that I have something going than thinking I have no future. Or at least that, 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 that that's how I feel. Or at least that's how uh, I feel for me, because if you feel like you have no future, that can send you down a path you don't want to go. That's going to send you down a path where in the future, you w- you're you going to want to wish you had done things different and thought about the future, you know? But also, it just also kind of starts with you and your mentality. You, If, if you want to change something in your life, if you don't like where certain things are going, you got to change your mind, change your mindset. The moment you start to change the way you think, the, change, your, your, the way you behave, certain aspects in life, that's going to, that I feel it sends a domino effect. All aspects, I always say, don't try to change in one way, change every way, change, change your diet, change uh, books you read, the movies you watch, what you listen to, change everything, Why? Right? Because it just sends a domino effect all across your, 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 um, what's the, what's the word I kind of want to say all across the different knobs that make you, you, you know? Maybe one knob, it, 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 the, the, the knob to ambition is turned all the way down. But the moment you start to change your way you think, the change what you eat, the change what you sleep, the change of the stuff you like, books, movies, music, maybe that, that, that ambition knob starts to turn a little bit more, turn on a little bit more, where at first at once it was at a one, now it's at, a, at the scale of a 90. Now it's almost turned all the way the fuck up. Why? Because now you got that ambition. You got some sort of fire in you. And that fire is lit. Now you have some sort of goal that you really want to you really want to um uh, chase and uh really uh enjoy, you know? But again, I always say change is hard for a lot of people. Change is definitely a lot of people are scared of change. I was scared to change for the longest time, but then I realized my whole life was about change, especially when I moved. When I went to from my first high school, or sh- uh, yeah, because the high school I went to was my hometown. That's where I was born. That was where I was raised. Uh, you know, that at that at that age, I never thought I was gonna leave Oregon. I thought I was gonna fucking stay there. But in reality, certain life, certain life, certain certain life events happened, and next you know, you find yourself in another city. Starting another high school, starting a high school, you know. And next, you know, you're there. Next, you know, here comes another change. Boom. You not only go to another new high school, you change state, you change the city, you change another town. And then you go to another town where you start another high school, you know. Next, you know, it sends you down a, th- that path of change where, you know, if you fail to embrace it and fail to really look at the positive side, 
you won't you won't be happy until you really embrace that change and really look forward to the unknown to what could happen. And that's part of my life because I've I am the only one in 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 my family from my brothers and my sisters, for, uh, from my two brothers and my two sisters, and I believe my other sister Crystal and my other brother uh, Luis. I don't oh man I never really asked them about high school, but from what from my my other siblings from them I'm the only one who's really ever started three different high schools. It would have been four had I gone to. That uh, the fourth school, but I had I had transferred already a little bit too late, so I couldn't I couldn't I could I couldn't really get in, and also I got lazy. I didn't I didn't go. But I was the only one that did that. The three different high school. I'm not I'm not gonna lie. High school kind of sucked. It didn't suck. I love high school to be honest. It was cool. I met a lot of a, a lot of cool people, and I don't think I would change it. But at the same time, starting a new high school that's what fucking sucked because I didn't know what the fuck to do. I was just. I didn't want to sit anywhere. I see like faces. These are the faces I didn't fucking know. You know, I don't have the same. I don't have that 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 my my personality that I have now. Who I am and who I've really uh, embraced and just known who I am. That wasn't me back then. Cause I'm I, I'm a shy person. But once you get to know me, I'm fucking like a fucking parakeet. I don't stop fucking talking. I'm like the guy in the movies that everyone tells to shut up or the one that's annoying. That's me. But during high school, I was fucking. You know, I remember when I first started in Salem, like. I remember I was in the, when I went to grab my lunch, I, I didn't fucking, I didn't really eat. I was walking and eating at the same time. So I didn't fucking just want to sit somewhere. So I just would just walk the whole high school. I would go walk outside, just fucking, you know, try to pass time just until the fucking, until class, class started and then went to the thing, you know, and it was like that for about a month. And then a year later, a year and a half later, that's when we moved to Cali. I love California. I ain't never leave in this place. But when we moved to Cali and I started my other high school, same thing. For a whole month, I was, it was weird. It was awkward. You know, just walk around, walk around, trying to pass the fucking time. And this is a time I didn't have a cell phone. Because I'm going to tell you this. I didn't get a, I didn't, I didn't have a cell phone until I was 18. And I bought that cell phone. That's when I was uh, basically, you know what, either 18 or 19. No, it was 19. Because that's uh, the year I graduated, 2012. That September, because I'm in the class of 22, that September, I was going to fucking, uh, I was going to turn 19, and I started working soon, uh, maybe like a month or two months after graduation, or uh, I think in August is when I started working, actually, you know, that's when I got my phone, that was the first time I got my phone, so those other times, while I was walking around, yeah, I didn't have no fucking phone, try, try trying to pass the time with no phone in high school, try passing something for 30, 40 minutes. Not knowing what the fuck to do, just walking around, walking around, walking around. Yeah, that shit fucking sucked. But at the same time, I fucking love it. <laughs> I fucking love those feel that that feeling, you know? Because now it's like that's a barrier I broke. I can go somewhere, I'll spark a conversation with somebody now. I don't give a damn. Why? Because that's who I am now. That 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 how that that going through that helped me break a few barriers that that I'm glad I did. But again, you gotta embrace that change, you know. But but if you don't embrace it and you don't fucking stick to 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 what your goal is, your dreams are, it's gonna be hard. Those times uh, when I was fucking like that, I always had my my goals and my dreams in my head. I was like, oh, I'm gonna do this, do this, do this, do this, and doing that. Yeah, shit didn't go to plan, not even close. But it, would I go back and change anything of it? Fuck no, it won't because I'm here. This is the reason why I'm right here talking about it, you know. But um. But now it's like on you guys. Keep your goals and your dreams in your mind. Keep that always in any stressful environment, any situation. Goals and dreams come first. Goals and dreams come first. Unless you got kids and uh, if you're taking care of your family, then that comes first, of course. But also don't forget your goals and your dreams are going to keep you going. They're going to keep you going to to only not be better for yourself, but you're going to be a, you're going to be a better provider for your family, for your kids, for your wife, you know? But again, that's on you guys. But thank you guys for listening. And um, greatness is one day at a time. But uh, go subscribe to my uh, Instagram, Randy Triple spelled out with twenty. Randy Triple Twenty. Uh, Randy's rants. Um, Snapchat. Definitely, I'm gonna start putting some videos because uh, I got this little thing um, called Headliner. That off all my episodes, it sends me um, like 15 second, 30 second videos. I'm definitely gonna be putting that on Snapchat now. 
I love it. I've been trying it. And I definitely fucking recommend it for anyone starting a podcast and want to do little miniature promotional videos. Definitely, I'm going to be doing those on Snapchat now. Um, also, uh, YouTube. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Randy's Rants. Also, you can find Randy's Rants on iTunes, Spotify, CastBox, and many other platforms. Uh, definitely, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Email me too. Maybe some certain suggestions you guys want me to talk about, or my opinion on certain fat on certain matters or something. I don't know. Just whatever you guys want. Like, subscribe, send the positivity, send some love. Any negativity, say what the fuck you want, because that's what's on your fucking mind. <laughs> you know, you guys, your guys' opinion. You know, opinions are like assholes. We all got one, so I'll I'll respect that, man. We, we, I think. You can't just take in the positive. You also got to respect when people have a negative opinion of you because it could be either hate or critique, but also you don't know until you actually read it or you actually, you know, go in there. But love you guys. Greatness one in time. And let's get it, baby. Don't stop. Goals and dreams come first. Remember that.